Jurors on Friday began a second day of deliberation in the child sexual abuse case against former Penn State assistant coach Jerry Sandusky. The sequestered jury arrived in a bus together just before 9 o'clock. Jurors are starting the day by reviewing the testimony of prosecution witness Mike McQueary. He testified he saw Sandusky sexually assaulting a boy in a shower. Jurors also want to review the testimony of a McQueary family friend, Dr. Jonathan Drainov, who testified Mike McQueary initially said he only heard something in the shower. On Thursday, Jerry Sandusky's adopted son, Matt Sandusky, now 33, released a statement saying he too was a victim of sexual abuse as a child at the hands of Sandusky. Jerry, did you molest your son? He offered to testify for the prosecution, but they did not call him as a witness, so jurors will not be considering his case in their deliberations. In closing arguments, Prosecutor Joe McGettigan said Sandusky is a serial predatory pedophile who forced some young boys into anal and oral sex. Sandusky's defense attorney, Joseph Amendola, argued the accusers were coached by investigators and making up the sexual abuse so they could sue for money. Judge John Cleland reminded the jury that Sandusky does not need to prove his innocence, but rather the burden of proof is with prosecutors who must prove his guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. Dozens of people lined up in front of the Center County Courthouse in anticipation of being in the courtroom when the verdict is read. Most here in line are hoping Sandusky is found guilty. It seems personal in that um, I also work with very young children, and I just want um, the children to know that they should have a voice and it's okay to have a voice and to come forward. And I'm in support, obviously, of the prosecution. Sandusky is at the heart of the scandal that ended the career of legendary Penn State football coach Joe Paterno, who was fired for not doing more to stop the alleged abuse. Attorney Tom Klein represents one of the alleged victims of Sandusky and says he's considering suing the university. That case, to state the obvious, would focus on Penn State, what the people there knew, what they didn't know, and when they knew it. If convicted, Sandusky would be sentenced by the judge sometime over the coming weeks. The 68-year-old former assistant coach could spend the rest of his life in prison if found guilty of only some of the charges. Ted Chaffrey, Associated Press, Belfont, Pennsylvania.